What's up, everybody? We got Simple Jack here tonight in the shop. Let's see, how do I get first, my friend? All right, yeah, say hello to the Simple Jack. He's uh -huh. here, he's here. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be making, this is the new uh, Angling AI Punch Crawl Mold. You guys may have seen this from my uh, video series with um, uh, Josh Clark and uh, Scroggins. So uh, I haven't, we haven't shot this mold yet, but we're going to make the Cooter Brown color that we uh, used. So Bass Cat Little Dave, hello Chris and Simple Jack. What's up, man? Yeah. So anyway, um, if you'll just like, hold it right there, we'll mix up some color. Sweet. And then, uh, and then you can like tap the screen to see the All color. Right. Right there. So, yeah. I've never made this color, so. Uh, but Scrogs. This is a fish catching machine. Yeah. But appa apparently, this color right here is the deal. I've never made anything like it. Alpha Rebel says he loves him some cooter. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, I should have known something like that was coming. This right here is dead on plastic swim bait blend. It's the black bucket sinking stuff, uh, which is good for a, a little crawl bait like this. You can use the firmer stuff if you know you're gonna be flipping some thick stuff. That color is also. Yeah, yeah, this is one of the ones from Scrawl and stuff. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna mix in some green pumpkin here. Here, why don't you get a close up of the, a close up of the mix. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I need more though, I think. Got any comments going? Yeah. Wish I had some Hooter, some Hooter Brown. Matt Scott says, wish you had some Hooter Brown. Some Hooter Brown, okay. <clears throat> I, 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 I read you on that. Oh, Baron says thanks for the invite. Oh, Baron, come on over, man. Yeah, this I'm, was... I, yeah, I'm, I'm over here by Bass Pro Shop. This was about as thrown together as thrown together gets. Uh, so the other side is going to be a yellow base. This is dead on yellow, but it lost the label. Dark Flame 666 says, make a bright orange goby. We kind of have a goby style. Yeah, I, I have like one little mold that has like one cavity of goby in it. What's all that blue here? Do we have a uh, paper towel? No, we don't. I was about to say I had a paper towel over there, but I don't know if I still have it. We're gonna cut that yellow with some white. Uh, it says it's saying the connection is fuzzy and shaky. Well, it should be good. Here, hold on a second. Yeah, no, no, that's good. All right, I'll try not to move. It's like banana color. Yeah, let me go get the sample. No, I had it. Zach Joswick, chicken baits, sweet. Got to start somewhere. So that is the, uh, that's the set. Why is it, uh, it's not on focus. It took a second. There oh yeah. Go. There's the sample right green pumpkin with gold flake. So that yellow is a little too bright. I'm, I actually need to darken it slightly. So did you add a little red? Uh, I got to add, I got to add some red to that side. I think yeah. Yeah. I might do it just right. See how that's like, that's more like school bus yellow. That's like super bright yellow. Hoot brown. Switch channel. Oh, appreciate it so much, man. Perfect live bit, live uh, vid before the Wisconsin gun opener. Sweet. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to go kill Bambi in the morning as well, so we didn't gotta you, get these baits knocked out. Didn't you already shoot a pretty good deer? Yeah, I shot an eight point on Tuesday. And it wasn't like spectacular, but uh. Well, you're doing better than me. That needs to be thicker. But he's got thick, 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 thick color. Oh, yeah, M. Jones. We can make bluegill flash like high tech. Yeah. We've actually made some like that before. Yeah, bluegill flash. And now? Yeah, fishing with Gavin. You can't eat the horns. <laughs> Just kidding. That's what everybody says. I shoot whatever I want because I'm trigger happy. No. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> not that bad, but I do prefer the meat generally. <laughs> yeah, that's starting to get there. I'm going to try a different shade of yellow. Stand by, everybody. 
Todd says about time you went live. Tell Todd that I have one year old who's scheduling me. Bass Cat, Little Dave, or yeah, says his dog killed one last weekend. Sweet. Hey, dumb question, Dave. Um, I'm assuming you drive a, a Bass Cat boat? Probably. Yeah, where you got name? Possibly. Yeah. Those are badass boats. Yeah, I'm, see, he was using like he was using an amber color. We're gonna get it eventually. So, someone says do a challenge. Fishing with Gavin says do a challenge, to make a twenty inch trip worm. And I would totally throw that. Twenty inches? Just kidding. I think the biggest I've thrown is like fourteen, maybe. I've never, I've never but it works. Yeah. Bass Cat Dave says, I've had several, just not at the moment. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They're good boats. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. All right. So this is the part of the videos I edit out is, you know, all the extra gooey crap that just gets everywhere. All right, so you'll see on this green pumpkin side, I need some gold flake. So we're going to add a little bit of gold flake. And it's not a lot of gold flake. No. Cooter brown. That's actually more. Hey, more is always more, i me tell you. Especially when it comes to flake. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put this, put all this crap back in the microwave to get it hot again. So we're just gonna clean off our knives. Gosh, look at that goo. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the gooey stuff. Anyway, we're just gonna kinda, I like to scrape it all off the knives, get as much back in the cup as I can. Now it's time to nuke these for a while. Which company's color? Colorants and glitters, do you seriously prefer? Uh, for colorants, I would say, um, I mean, I, I'd have to go with Lure Works color technologies for colorants um, because of the consistency. Each batch of color is just like one I bought six years ago. Uh, they're very consistent and they just have the biggest selection of colors. Uh, Glitters, I like the glitter that comes from Polycrill, which is sold through Lure Craft. Um, so, for most of my flake, it all comes from Lure Craft. What's the frame look like? I'm gonna try to keep it in light. Pretty good. It's dark as hell in here. Yep. Todd says, What about my watermelon? Huh? Todd says, what about my watermelon? Well, what do you mean your watermelon? Yeah, I'm trying to just, hold on. <clears throat> okay, Bobby Barfield's saying the connection's not very good. What the heck? Uh, 15 inch trick worm, that's uh, Bigger than anything I got, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, guys, I probably don't have great reception in my garage, and uh, and the Wi-Fi signal out here is actually worse than just running off my uh, actual um, uh, cell phone service. So it it's not lagging on my end, but uh, if it's lagging on your end, we do apologize. But we're about to. We're about to run the first baits with the new uh, Angly AI punch bug mold. So uh, that's this little guy right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, Luke, I've done two collaborations with uh, Marling Baits. Um, we did the uh, octopus and let's see, and the poison dart frog. So let me grab them right here. Yeah, so that's the uh, poison dart frog mold. 
and uh, let's see, there is what the octopus mold looks like. So he's actually selling molds of the poison dart. Let's see. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, so if you want to buy um, the Marling Bates frog mold, you actually can now. He's selling, he's selling that open pour mold. So anyway, we're gonna grab, hey, uh, can you come hold this so I can grab the plastic out? That's if it uh, keeps, keeps doing that. <laughs> right. Huh. Oh, a squid, uh, I don't know about a squid mold, but uh, yeah, we might get a uh, shrimp mold, an another shrimp mold uh, from uh, Angling AI at some point. Uh, Josh has a shrimp mold, I don't have a shrimp mold. So, yep. Yeah, exactly, Randy. I don't, I don't, I don't pay very much for my internet, so that's probably uh, why we're having trouble here. It takes me forever to upload my videos that you guys watch. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Why is all the flake on the top? You know, just when you think you've learned how to do this, you don't. I don't know what that flake is doing there, but it looks dang good to me. Oh yeah, dude, dude, these are. I actually these are, like the. Yeah, these are ready to shoot. Here, yeah, hold, hold that real quick. You lost the video feed again. It just popped up blue. Uh, no, that looks good right there. Where do you get your lure works? Uh, Spike It's website. All right, here we go, guys. Scoot around. See if it works. Never shot this one before. Yeah, this is a fresh mold. Fresh out the mail. Wow, dude, yeah. Like, I haven't even opened it yet to make sure that it's the right bait. <laughs> Talk about taking a risk. Yeah, I know. These, these could be those squid, squid molds that everyone wants. All right. Gosh, those are gonna be awesome. Dude, I, I, I think I might've hit this color right. Terry would be proud. Yeah. You got to send a picture of it. I can tell you the yellow isn't exactly right, but this 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 is banana cutter. Banana cutter. <laughs> Heck yeah, y'all. Sweet. That's it's definitely gonna be close. Apparently this is a fish catching color. How long have I been making baits? Since September of 2012. Yeah, that is a good point. The brown might have needed to be a touch darker, but... It might darken that yellow, too, so... This is true. You just have to wait and see. Yeah, this is the trial run. I don't know that we've made anything quite like this. I've never made a color that laminated yellow and pumpkin before. I don't... I don't do a whole lot of yellow. So Fish Gavin says, who's been a fan for all of 2019? <laughs> Not me, I've been close, but... Uh, yeah, Chris Chris says you need a booster for your Wi-Fi in the garage. Oh, uh, yeah, what's up, man? Yeah. Michael, the, the glow in the dark we just fooled with those a little while ago, that is pretty sick. Yeah. And, and like I said, you know, that video I put up this morning, you know, I'm still like a complete noob with the glow stuff. So the point of that video was just kind of like for first impressions, uh, I'll be the first to say I don't really know how to use it properly. Uh, but we're going to keep practicing over the next, uh, you know, few weeks and months. And then uh, we, have some, we have some really exciting stuff coming to the channel soon. Um, that actually doesn't even involve soft plastics. We're yeah, gonna get into, very we're exciting. Gonna, we're gonna get into a couple other types of custom tackle making um, with some pretty major players in the industry. So definitely be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun. So does this mean we get to hang out with John Cox next? John Cox. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, John Cox is a beast. Oh yeah. Where'd you get the glow powder? Uh, the glow powder was from Lure Works. 
Uh, you can also get it on Amazon. It's just phosphorus powder, I'm pretty sure. Um, I mean, you can just buy it online or you can get it from Lure Works and you know, that way you kind of know what you're getting. You know, it's tried and true for baits. Um, you know, there's a couple different colors. It's not all green and, and, uh, and, and uh, yellow, but you know, you can get like a you can get like a glow in the dark orange, a couple shades of blue. So, some pretty cool stuff. Have you tried monkey milk? No, I have not. Mm -mm. All right, let's check these out. All right. All right, we got a we got a new drum roll with the knife. Here we go. <laughs> My drumsticks are inside. Look how shiny that is. It's like... Yeah, I know. I just scratched it up. The knife is good. Yep. Let's get, let's get a close-up. Cooter Brown! Sweet. Dude! That ain't bad. There's the, there's the test bait right there. Let's flip it over. Ah, my yellow isn't quite... My yellow isn't quite the same. It's... Like, that one's like more milky, I think. See what I mean? Yeah. I, I think he added more... I think he added more white to his... Dude! Hey, no, we can keep, we can yeah. touch it up. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I mean, we, we can touch it up, but honestly, these are good. Oh, let me, let me go uh, fill the bath up real quick. You can talk to the comment. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is a heck of a color. Um, so, like a lot of times, in, I guess in Florida, I would think most people flip darker colors, black with blue flakes, June bug, but, uh, this is this is something totally different and up here and well i mean i guess everywhere in florida we have a lot of grass shrimp and stuff like that and that uh that kind of meets us in the middle with all kinds of different forage so um yeah. i feel like these bass aren't, aren't seeing these a lot obviously uh, terry scroggins is a huge fan of this one yeah this this is this, this is, is his bread and butter yeah this is one of his colors that he's cooked up for himself so i hope he doesn't mind me showing it to the whole world but uh, yeah, that's that's how you can mash that puppy, and then we'll 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 play with yellow a little bit more. But the green pumpkin side is like right there, just straight lure works. Green pumpkin 109. That's one of the best green pumpkins. That and MF dark watermelon. That's all you need. That's all you need, guys. Yeah, Jason, it's a new mold. Just got it in today. These are the first shots with it ever, right here. Yep. Joe asked how Landon is doing. Landon is good. He should be in bed by now. <laughs> Hopefully he's in bed. So, Cooter Brown. That is sweet. Cooper. All right, let's do some more. How old is Landon? Uh, he's almost 15 now. So he's he is, growing like a he's, weed. He's growing. He's walking. He's sort of kind of talking. And uh, he's wearing me out, believe me. Well, you probably see these bags up under my eyes. It's, Mm. Gonna wear you out being a parent. Alright, let's uh, I don't think it matters. Alright, I'm gonna play with this uh yellow a little bit. He definitely added more white to his, I, I think. Could be completely wrong. Oh. Any, any any questions or comments on there, anybody? Yeah, hold on. Just asking how the family is. North Florida Fishing 42 asked how my dad is. He's doing good. He's getting old on me. <laughs> is that someone know? Yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he's doing good. I actually get him out every once in a while to go fishing. We, um... We got out for about 45 minutes the other day to uh, to a pond up north of Tallahassee. Cooter Brown! And uh, he kicked my butt on a uh, Rapala and an ultralight, so <laughs> needless to say, I guess he still got it. Oh, on. Yep, and I'm sure we'll piss off a lot of people with this, but they were delicious. We ate every one of them. <laughs> What's your favorite color, Cinco? My favorite color is Cinco. Um, 
It's probably a color I make called backwater blue. It's a, it's, it's a pretty big. Interesting. Well, either that or um, Okeechobee Magic. Sure. Uh, is this? What is this one? That's, yeah, that's an old Okeechobee Magic. Yeah, this is the old Okeechobee yeah. Magic. That's from before I started using uh, uh, dead-on plastic. That's the old stuff. Old school. Trying to get it to, uh, it's trying to focus. Oh, you get the picture. Yeah. Good or brown. Oh yeah, the grass the grass grenade is a beast. Oh yeah, yeah. We ought to run some of these in the grass grenade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'll go get the grenade. So yeah. Federico says, it seems like yellow needs a bit more brown, but also like orange flakes or something. Yeah, I mean... The, yeah, definitely more brown. I don't know. Orange flakes might throw it off, but who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't work with yellow a whole lot, so I, I don't have a whole lot of practice matching colors with yellow. I mean, to be perfectly frank, I, I can match a lot of stuff. You know, I... For years I've done custom orders based on just pictures and done a really good job, but I don't work with yellow a whole lot, so um, I gotta up my IQ on the yellows. Alright. Yeah, this right here is the uh, grass grenade, so we'll, we'll run some of those too. Old Cooter Brown. Yeah. Jason, the uh, net bait color is pretty sick. It's uh, it's called Toledo Special, black and blue on top, and then green pumpkin on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty sick color. Which the best of both worlds, black with blue flake is pretty much unbeatable for most situations. And then throwing a little green pumpkin, and you're you're cooking cooking with gas. Well, those didn't want to come out of there, huh? How many molds do you have, and how many molds did you? Or should, how many molds should you start with, or how uh, many molds? Yeah, how many molds do you have, and how many should you start with? Uh, including hand pour molds, probably seventy molds or something, uh, like in total, but um, probably like twenty different baits all together. So. I don't know. It, it it might be more than that. I've never counted because they they just keep they keep coming. So you know, like today, I just got these two molds, and I have no idea how many I have. So it's a good problem to have. But uh, I I don't know. I mean, if you're just starting out, you know, I have a video about starting on a budget. You know, what how to get the best bang for buck out of like a three hundred dollar investment or a five hundred dollar investment. So that you can get your foot in the door in the hobby, and you know at least have enough tools to succeed well enough to figure out if it's a hobby that you like or something that you don't like. Um, so you know I, I do have some video. I have a lot of material on kind of getting started. So uh, definitely check those out. Oh. Yeah, like guns. If you know how many you own, you don't have enough. <laughs> Of course. Try telling my well, try then, telling my wife that, then, but then uh, I don't. Then I don't have enough. Yeah, it's like guns and fishing rods. Right, right. Oh, well, let's see. I gotta clean this out real quick. Keep those a bit longer. All right, we're gonna do some grass grenades next. What's your favorite marlin mold bait? Uh, mar uh, marlin mold or marlin bait? Uh, says, oh, marlin mold slash bait. Uh, I kind of like, uh, he, he did like a bumblebee mold a long time ago, and uh, he did a great white shark. Yeah, the great uh, white shark is pretty slick. I mean, he's done so many awesome things. I mean, it's, 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 like, it's like picking your favorite beer. You know, I, I, I don't know. I mean... 
I'd say my favorite soft plastic mold that he's done is, is probably the uh, dart frog. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've got one of his like wooden molds. Uh, it's it's pretty slick. One of his wooden bait. Y'all yeah, go get it real quick. Actually, let me uh, shoot, shoot these. Yeah, the hundred piece snake was sick. Yeah, yeah. That was very intricate. Yeah, he uh, he, he must have spent a long time on that. Baron says rods question mark. Yeah, I need to get more. Well, uh Yeah, Baron, I'll talk to you about that soon. Might be able to help you out here <laughs> Down the road I'll give you all my hand-me-downs uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, look at that oh sploosh oh, Sometimes it just doesn't line up mm. And then that's what happens it all shoots out the top like that yeah, block of wood. I guess did Marling Bates do something out of block of wood? Yeah, he uh, he he just took a block of wood, just sanded it down, and put two hooks on the end of it, chunked it out there, and caught one in a little pond up there. That's he, hilarious. He lives in a small town in uh, Iowa, outside of uh, Cedar Rapids, and uh, yeah, he was he was able to catch a bass on a block of wood. I mean, it was literally just a tiny block of wood yeah. with, with some treble hooks on it. Jeez. It was incredible. It was incredible. This hobby is great for a fisherman. Yes, it is. Big very time. addicting and very, very, very expensive. Very expensive, though. Well, I guess it can save you money in the long run, but uh, you can't beat it if you can, if you can do it. Yeah. Come to think of it, what have I probably over the past seven years got about five thousand dollars worth of plastics from you for, for nothing. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's saved a little bit of money. Yeah, I was gonna say, when you're the guy that's invested all the money into making baits and all the molds, it's really your friends who benefit the most. They make out like bandits. Don't know? don't listen to them. They he make he out, makes the baits and I show them how to use them. They make out like bandits. Every time my friends come over, it's literally like going to the ATM machine. They walk away richer than they were before. Yeah, Bass Cat Dave said, start building rods and you can keep adding to the hobby. I, that's a whole nother level of insane. Yeah, maybe one day, huh? Yep. <clears throat> I mean, building rods, could it be that difficult? I'm sure it can. No, I would I would like to see how that all is done, like mud hole with John Cox and all that stuff. I know Terry does it. I mean, goodness gracious. You can you can take that. That has no end there. You can do unlimited things once you start mastering that craft. It never ends. Who's your favorite drummer from the nineties? Uh like Well, I mean, most drummers uh, and any band gigs streaming soon? Maybe? No, I don't ever stream the band gigs. I mean, during the 90s, my favorite drummer was Neil Peart from Rush. Now, Rush got together in the early 70s. I don't know if you call him a 90s drummer. But in the 90s, he Neil Peart was my favorite. For sure. Okay. Gavin brings up a uh, valid point. Catch a pet bass, which leads me to when are we going to get a bass tank? back in here oh uh, bass tank um i've had several bass tanks but they just always required a lot of maintenance yes and, they do uh, you know it's it just you, you come home and your fish is dead half the time i i don't know i mean i just haven't had much luck with them to be honest so i mean if if i had space inside my house to do it i i would probably do it but uh, I, I just don't have any space there's nothing more satisfying than feeding a couple of pet bass a uh, about a dozen goldfish. Oh yeah, and those little rosy red minnows. Yep. To... Yep. Yeah, it's 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 a religious experience to feed a to feed a predatory fish. You use a split injector with all those AI molds. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yep. I mean, pretty much all molds are the same. I mean. 
any, any brand of mold is going to have a 5 8 inch port on the top. And any injector you buy, at least from a uh, American manufacturer, is, is going to fit any mold that you buy. So uh, they're all pretty good about that. Randy says, where's the beer? We don't have beer tonight. We, we got nothing. Well, we do have this. Shaken, not stirred. Yeah, Chris, uh, Chris hooked me up. Martini. I tried to make one myself, and uh, yeah, basically just did it like a redneck and just mixed a bunch of stuff together, and it was absolutely dreadful. You didn't even put ice in it. Okay, look, I'm used to natural light and... Just kidding. Cooter Brown. That's a little better. There we go. Boy, now that is getting close. I mean, there's the sample. Cooter Brown. That's it. That's it. Oh, I'm calling it done. That's it. That's it. That's Nailed it. It. See, and, and what's great about this mold is that. Josh made it in eight cavities. Now he is going to offer a four cavity version in case you don't want to show out 200 bucks. I mean, this is an expensive mold. Your well, logo would look awesome or would look cool on a custom rod. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, everyone has stolen my logo, by the way. So you'll see that everywhere. And uh, anywhere you see it, they're, they're thieves. Just, dirty awesome. martini, make a dirty worm. Yeah. Yeah, just put a bunch of olive juice in the in the plastic. <laughs> hey, it, it, it might be good. Might be good. The million dollar question that gets asked quite often. What website did you use to make your custom bags? Yeah, so bags, everybody. I get 30 questions about bags every week. Uh, this thing right here. So, bags have to be made a certain way with a certain type of uh, layering. So these are layered polyester bags and the printing is actually sandwiched one of the layers in the bag. It's not printed on the outside and that's that's because you need a barrier between the oils. All the plasticizers and oils that are in soft plastics will leach through a normal bag and will corrode the ink. Like it will literally, the ink will just wipe right off the bag. So that's why these are kind of a big deal to get. You can't just go to Vistaprint and get bags printed and expect it to work. <clears throat> so these are all made overseas in China. They're all in the, made from Hong Kong. Every single brand of plastics you've ever seen in a bag, a bag was in Hong Kong, China. And, and uh, it's really expensive to get them. You order, order minimums are multiple thousands. You know, there's a whole currency exchange thing, language barrier challenges. Uh, now there's tariffs. Uh, you know, there's just, there's a lot of challenges to getting them. So you have to really make sure that you want them. Uh, we bought 20,000 bags and it cost us just over $2,400 that we had to wire transfer to China. I use a company called Broadway Plastic Bag LTD. I don't know if they're still in business, but, um, you know, if, if you want bags, it's, it's, it's not, it's not a simple decision to make. And it's very expensive. You know, I, I tell people that are new, um, you know, if you're new, don't spend a whole bunch of money on professional packaging. That money needs to be invested into your product first. Well into, said. Into, into learning a good bait, learning good colors, learning your, your, your plastics. Put it in a bag with a label on it and it'll sell. You know, once I run out of these, I'm not going to buy them again, to, you know, to be perfectly honest. So that's the deal with bags. It's not even done at all. Olive oh, scent oh. revolution. What's up? Hashtag olive scent revolution. Yeah. Olive scent, yeah. Oh, that's somebody from France. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, cheers from Florida. Hey, so. Hey, hey, we got to look at these grass grenades. All right, here you go. All right, here's the Cooter Brown. Thank you, boy. Grass grenade. Boom. That is beautiful. Oh, see how those kind of mixed in yeah. a little bit on that? That's what you call a sloppy laminate, y'all. But to me, that's like like hitting a home run. I like, I, I, I like it when they're not straight up perfect. But, uh, you know, if, if you're selling baits, some, some customers want them perfect laminates. So in that case, those would be 
rejects for Simple Jack. Of course. But, uh, yeah. AKA no. still fish catching machines. That's absolutely. Yeah, see? <laughs> that's about as bad as, you know, that's about as bad as a laminate as you can get. I love it when but, it makes uh, that looks more like the seed block, so I'm keeping them. I got no shame in a sloppy laminate. Unless I have to get like perfect laminates. So yeah, that's a really cool color. I like it. I like it. Dude, look at the bath. The bath is looking Yeah. Good. Yeah, we got some stuff there. We're gonna have to fill it up with water and keep going. Right, we're gonna make some more bugs. Sweet. Yeah, we need we need to make a bunch of runs of those. Collaboration with Revamp Outdoors. Yeah, yeah, I've, uh, I've got a mold from Revamp. He, he sent me a, uh, a really cool lizard mold. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. It's like a, it's a two-piece injection silicone resin, uh, silicone mold. It's really, really, really awesome stuff. Baron says hello from Lake Talquin. Like, actually hello from Lake Talquin? Are you really fishing right now? He's on the wrong hole. Ah, the wrong hole. Yep. Well, need to get a Ned rig. Well, we can just cut down some Senkos. Hey, if he's going to be out there night fishing, I need to get him some of those glow worms. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get you some glow worms. Yeah, absolutely. How many times have you failed when you make your lures? Every all, time. All, all the time. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's... Well, it depends I mean, on what you classify as a fail. Well, I mean, look at that. That was supposed to be a laminate. That's a garbage laminate. So, I mean, that's a fail. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> but still... IMO is beautiful. Ah, uh, see, I, I didn't even get that one to fill all the way. See, all right, perfect example. Here's a fail. Those didn't fill all the way, so I either didn't have enough pressure, or uh, you know, sometimes things just go wrong. So those those little uh, legs there didn't fill on that one. Just getting them off the sprue so that I can free up some some space in there. So. Uh, brown. Doesn't look like near as much without those fruits. No. <laughs> Alright. Not allowed them to fill it off. Those are the real rejects. Yeah. The real rejects. Still using them. Yeah, I Yeah, this is where I need two microwaves, everybody. I've got one. If yeah. You need one. Yeah. I, I actually thought about asking that. Well, I, I can like stack them on top of each other. I've got a huge one. You know where it came from? Seminole Trail. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Avery and I used to work together in student housing. So, uh, yeah, all the all the residents that lived there, whenever they had problems, we had to solve it for them. So, poor poor residents. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, were those the days. Here, uh, here, bring the camera over here. So, uh, tubes. So, people have been asking me about tubes. Um, so, I am kind of quietly practicing uh, actually the old school method of dipping tubes. So, you take a rod and you actually dip, you dip it in the plastic and, uh, and, and then you cut, cut the tails. So, yeah, there you go. We were so, dabbling with some earlier. So, yeah, that's. Um, these are literally the first three that I've ever made, so I'm going to uh, hopefully bring you guys some content on that as well. Brown. You know, I'd be willing to put money on the fact that that would still work. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. It just didn't fill. I'll have to... I'll tell you where this little booger will come in handy. I have to hold a little more. Like Rejects said, like a brand new mold, so I'm not used to shooting it. I shot it. I only shot it once at Terry's house um, with his uh, shooting star. So you know, I'm I'm still kind of learning this mold. So it, it may be one of those I have to hold a little more pressure on to get all the appendages to fill. Um, every mold's different in a way. So hopefully, figure that out. Yeah, these will come in handy during a uh, bed bedding season. So will the octopus. <laughs> oh yeah, the octopus. Octopi. Yeah, that's that's a pretty cool deal there. 
I, uh, when Chris was telling me about these the other day, I was like, okay, when he shows me these or when I see them, I'm going to be basically looking at a wad of plastic that kind of <laughs> looks similar to a tube. But I would have to say, considering these are the first ones that he made, he nailed it. So, oh, wait. like most things, give it a little time. And I have totally ditched these people on the comment. I apologize. Yeah, come on now. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. I got easily distracted. I have hundreds of tube rods, all different sizes if you want some. Oh, Chris yeah, Cottrell yeah, said yeah. that. I've, I've, I've got more than handle now, but uh, yeah, you know, different diameters. You know, I, I only have some of the same diameter for right now, so. Hank Snow says, howdy from Orlando, not far from the big show. Yeah, yeah. So, how many people out there have actually kept up with the Terry Scroggins over the years? Because I think I was a little bit more starstruck whenever Chris got to uh, go hang out with them a couple weeks ago than uh, he was. Because I've literally fo followed Terry Scroggins since I was probably 10, which is what, five years ago? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I was, I was telling Chris about something that Terry does that I've never really heard of. And uh, we actually talked to him on the phone a little while ago, and I really wanted to ask him, but I wasn't going to be that guy. So if anyone out there heard, maybe I'm the only one that uh, maybe it's just something, maybe it's not true. But I've been told that Terry Scroggins actually used his key cord to mark his beds during the spring. Is that he does? Yeah. No, 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 no. You were telling me about that. Yeah, yeah. so we got to confirm, but... Uh, do some of that color and finesse worm. Oh yeah. Yeah, finesse. Yeah, that uh that laminate right there, I'm a freak about throwing uh throwing a yellow worm in the springtime. So that joker right there, weightless, would be so sick. Probably look good in a uh, Senko too. Yeah. Probably good. Yeah. I mean it's just a good natural color. Brian asked if we got some beer. No beer. No beer, man. Our women are sitting inside and have abandoned us and said that we have to fend for ourselves. We abandoned them. Yeah, this is true. Browning Banana. That's a pretty, pretty clever name. Yeah. Color was the tube, like a turquoise? Yeah. It's a uh, blue pearl powder mixed with white pearl powder and some big hologram flake. It's... It was honestly remelt. I was just trying it out for the first time. Oh, this is interesting. So, Randy says hello from Ohio. Hello. Have you tried degassing a bottle of color yet to see if it works? I, I have not. I need to try that. I think uh, I think if we can figure out how to do that, that'll save everybody a bunch of bubble problems. You should inject some kicker tails while y'all are at it. Oh yeah, that's a uh, yeah. that's a good idea. I love that worm. Yeah. Speaking of uh, the big show. Yeah. I've got a guy from Lake Fork. How's the uh, how's the fishing at Lake Fork right now? Probably I mean, I'm awesome, sure it's as sick always. all year long. Yeah, probably great. I would love to make a trip up there. Yeah. Bobby Barfield says he's back and it looks better. Well, I appreciate it. Was it gone? Hmm? Lake Fork gone or something? No, it was another guy that said that. Oh, making baits is messy. Seen a lot of guys on here from uh, California. What's a lot up, of guys? Mike Long fans. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't heard about that guy recently. Yeah, sorry about all y'all's taxes over there. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, oh, got somebody from Hawaii. Has anybody seen uh, Aloha? Has anybody seen my <laughs> so what do you, uh, how do you go about bass fishing in uh, Hawaii? I wonder if, is there bass in Hawaii? Yeah. Is there? Sweet. Yeah, dude, like the state record's like a nine pounder or something. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Or maybe it's like a seven pound. I don't know. Wow, and I have somebody from Brazil. Holy Brazil. cow. Brazil? All right. Let's see, in Brazil. Hey, Brazil has the real fish. Y'all have, uh, let's see. The you peacock? Y'all have the peacock bass. The yeah, what would a peacock? The paiera, the arapaima, the jowl catfish, the piraiba catfish, the golden dorados. I mean, come on. 
Like, y'all are smoking us in the fish department. Like, we got like bass. Yeah, so. Bass, redfish, and snook. And bluegill. And you can't lay out bluegill. <laughs> Yeah, so there's bass and peacock bass in Hawaii. That's crazy. Peacocks, that's cool. So I've never caught a peacock, and I've lived in Florida my whole life and been to South Florida. Well, they don't live around, though, right? Yeah, there's peacocks in South Florida. Yeah, but, like, not up here. Well, I'm saying I've lived in Florida and been to South Florida hundreds of times and never caught one. Yeah, Havasu. Heard a lot about that place. Havasu, yeah. I messed up them limb and it's two. They look good though. Dude, look at that. Isn't that a cool color, guys? Simple, simple, simple. Simple, 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 simple. Very That's simple, Jack. Very, very, yeah. Yep. Even your dumbest buddy can make them. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Lake Havasu. Yeah, Bobby. I've I have heard. Uh, we were actually down there not too long ago, and boy, was I itching. Actually, I went to Orlando about six months ago, and the only thing that I could catch was placostomuses and caught by hand. And, and carp. <laughs> I don't know if they were spawning or what, but they were like super, super shallow, and you could literally just grab them. Plectopossumus. Oh yeah, Havasu is great for bedding. So I've heard, I can imagine you have the clear water. Oh, yeah. uh, it's getting distorted. Must Here be light. Right, yeah, yeah, let me get on this side. Sorry about that. Yes. Boy, we would, yeah. Would you ever consider pouring crappie baits? Yeah, I just don't have any molds. I mean, honestly, um, I just, I've just never invested in the molds. Which I was just talking about this today. We have got to bring you guys a crappie fishing video. Because yeah. Chris and I have had some pretty uh, yeah, we got stellar some, days. Yeah, we got some thoughts. So like, what I need to do is do a, a bait inspect where, uh, where I run a crappie mold. We'll take them out to my neighborhood where I grew up, and we'll smack them, guys. It, it's, uh, it's pretty good fishing out there. That would be fun. <laughs> You're funny, Baron. I, uh, yeah, I've really slacked the past couple of days about keeping up with you. Um, I'll call you tomorrow. But I do, I do, I'm not that terrible of a friend because I do have some goodies for you. So, tell him I want to go fish the stingray. Yeah, Chris wants to go fish the stingray. Stingray is terrible. Dude, there's always fish on the stingray. Oh, yeah. Believe it or not, so DM, DM Outdoors says, I love crappie, good eating. I had a guy tell me the other day that I was absolutely crazy because I said that crappie was delicious. And I'm like... Well, he's obviously belongs in a padded room with, you know, gloves on hand. Which, the same guy also thought I was crazy because... Chris and I eat a lot of bass, which I know that ruffles some people's feathers, but um, <laughs> that you really can't beat a good bass. Oh, it's so good. And we do do our share of conservation, so it's a give and take. Now there's one lake. Yeah, we're Jacob, they're delicious. One lake we're not allowed to throw them back in. Come yep. On, yep. What's uh? Just curious, since we're on this topic, what's some of y'all's favorite ways? to uh, actually cook crappie. So like I've only ever had it fried and up until about three months ago, I never actually had bass pan seared and call me crazy, but pan searing it, if you do it the right way, will compete any day of the week with a good fried. So some will grill the right way. Yeah, exactly. So what, what's some of you guys' favorite ways to cook them? Oh yeah, fried, sorry. Crappie's such a nice soft meat, it just fries well. A good plate of bass is better than a cold. That ain't that the truth. Fried, deep fried pan, smoked, smoked crappie. Wow, I haven't thought of that. That's a. Uh, well, well, I mean, th think about it. A slimy, nasty mullet. 
you smoke it, it's amazing. So why wouldn't a game fish be good smoked? You know? Pan seared, yeah. Good yeah. Brown. Slap your mama Cajun seasoning. I've never that's heard of that. Now that's the best stuff. Where do you find that? Uh, well, I first found it in Louisiana, but now I got it like grocery stores. Slap, slap your mama. Curate. Yep. Walleye. Yeah, I've never had a walleye. I've never right caught a walleye. Yeah, I, Josh from uh, Angling AI, you know, he, he's he's a Yankee, everybody. He lives up in Michigan. And uh, he said the walleyes are really, yeah, the really, walleye. really good. So I got to crack on him a little bit, his Yankee accent. But people make fun of me for my accent. So, you know, just people make fun of you for a lot of things. People make fun of me for a lot of things. I'm a redhead ginger that plays with glitter in his garage. So... It's about the lamest thing you can do. I used to be cool and, you know, played music professionally, but now I do this. It's about as lame as it gets. Whoops, I've totally distorted this. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, we can reuse that. <laughs> Crappie and bass would probably be good cooked Chinese style. Yeah, I love me some Chinese food, so we might try that. Some Kung Pao bass. <laughs> Kung Pao bass. Fish, uh, crappy fried rice. I do love some Chinese food. Sesame bass. Yeah, we're, yeah, you guys bring up a good point. We are going to have to try to do some crappie jigs. Yeah. Because uh, that would be, gosh, for what you could make one Cinco, you could uh, make 15 crappie jigs. Yeah, I just need to uh, buy one from Jacob's Molds. So, like, if anyone out there is looking for some panfish molds, Jacob's Baits is uh, is where you want to go. He has like the largest selection of panfish molds. I mean, he he he, he can make you a little. Uh, that uh, thanks, babe. That, uh, that, I thought that was Julie. Yeah, that that little. Um, I mean, he's he's got little spec uh, swim baits for like this long. It's like a it's like a easy swimmer that's like that long. It's crazy. So who has that? Uh, Jacob's molds. So if you if you want to get some uh, panfish molds, definitely shout out to Jacobs. He's he's got the juice. Crappie dipped in Frank's red hot. Really putting a twist on it. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. DM Outdoors says only time I like bass is in the winter. It's hardly game game right. fishy. I don't know. So do you I actually don't notice a difference? I don't think it's fishy at all ever. No, it's a pretty neutral. It's a real. Up yeah, those are bed fishing baits. <laughs> well, you can't remelt them. Hey, let's let's go get these on the Cooter Brown. Here's more Cooter Brown. I can't say it the way that Terry did. Oh yeah, look at that. Boom. That's sweet. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, there it is. And one thing I've noticed about this mold. Very, very little flashing at all, um, despite just the level of in intricacy here. And you have all these little ridges and all these little arms, and uh, I'm really impressed at the lack of flashing that I'm getting. That was was one thing Josh was worried about, because but because he vented, and, and uh, we talked about, he Josh actually talked about this mold in our video with, with Terry. He's actually vented each individual ridge and all of these, I mean, everything has a vent. And the more vents and holes you cut in a mold, the more you're likely to get flashing. But I'm hardly getting any at all. So uh, I'm very, very impressed again uh, with this mold. Those are sweet. Good brown. I also like that you can make eight at one time just from one cavity mm -hmm. or one, we got one mold. Yeah. Now, Strokens has four of these molds. <laughs> he makes about 32 of them. How many? He's got four. Oh, really? So he, he makes 32 at, at a time. He just, yeah, it's Friday and no yingling, I know, right? Guys, I have not drank a lot of beer lately. And Live PD is starting soon. Oh, that's good. Are they in Tallahassee still? Of course. Oh, they are? Yeah. Hey, guys, we, you might see us on Live PD tonight. Yeah. yeah. They, uh, looks like a meth lab in this garage, so, uh. Yeah, I'm sure the neighbors would call them. Like, what temperature are you shooting your plastics at? Oh, I ripped the leg off. Um, I don't usually go above 360. Now, I haven't, I haven't even.
even used the temp gun on these yet tonight. So, um, to be honest, I don't know. Just eventually, you just kind of get to a point where you can look at the plastic and just see the way that it's moving in the cup, and you'll just kind of know if it's ready or not. But don't do that if you're starting new. Always get your temp guns and make sure that it's good. I'm really bad about that part. I'm bad about just. Uh, Did it freeze? Uh, yeah, it's freezing. I'm really bad about. Um, Scorching it until it's basically on fire and then injecting it, but uh <laughs> I'm pretty bad. You're pretty bad about that. Well, the, but the uh, stink as I made earlier looked pretty sweet. Oh, uh, kicker worm. Yeah, I'll move you the kicker worm. Yeah, the kicker worm. Here's Yeah, we'll do the last few baits in the kicker worm. Plastic. We run through a bunch of this. I appreciate everybody who tuned in tonight. Oh, that's still got a ways to go. Hope it's been worth y'all's while. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a bad boy. I'm thinking that color in a uh, ribbon tail is going to be sweet. So, so get it this right here, guys, we're going to do a video soon. Um, this is a technique called dusting mold. Um, now, this is all color shift right here, but that red line is not poured. It's actually painted into the sides of the mold before you pour the plastic. Um, so, uh, yeah, dusting the mold. You can get some cool effects like that. We'll get that on the channel soon. And uh, if you like to hand pour baits at home, you know, I mean, you could even do that with a worm. You know, you could paint paint inside a worm hand pour mold or a, just a hand, hand pour worm mold. But uh, if you want to get some cool effects like that, we'll do some video on that as well. For the, uh, comment yeah, uh -huh. that's, that's like the funnest thing is to see what people... Make some baits to do a giveaway. Okay. Do that. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. I might give away some of these tonight that we didn't. So. Yeah, that, it, it depends on if he takes them all home or not. I won't do that to you guys. <laughs> Good Brown. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, we've got to get another microwave out here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those eyes. Yep. He, uh, he makes some great stuff. Yeah, people are excited about dusting, doing the dusting. Yeah, 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 dusting is really cool. And, I, and you guys have seen me get out the paintbrush and, and apply powders and pigments to the exterior of a swim bait. This is kind of the same thing, but you're doing it before you pour. And then when the bait comes out of the mold, it takes that powder with it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Wife is uh, acting a fool. Ugh. Baron says your wife should change her name. Like change it from Jones or like no, change it like, from Mullins. She still has her maiden name. <laughs> I wouldn't want my name to be Jones neither. <laughs> yeah, we should we should do live stream from Walton. Cooter Brown. Do it. If I uh, don't mess this one up, too bad. Yeah, tell you what, I might have a, might have enough to do a few more of the uh, crawls. Maybe. I, I'm gonna run out. I think drinks plastic. Oh, we may have got it. We might have gotten that. Looks like you're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we may have more food around on the way. So, so is, is Thelma watching this? I'm sure. They said it on TV inside. Woohoo! I'm Thelma! Woohoo! Where's the pause button? I've got stuff to do. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Angel, wow. You know what? Hey, keep it clean, y'all. Come on. 
Thelma says it's an ugly color. She's an ugly color. Well, you know what, Thelma? Your soul is an ugly color. Just call that honey mustard. That's a good idea. Yeah, honey mustard. I like that. Benjamin says you're doing a great job. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate you being here. Some, some really exciting stuff coming up soon. I know I say that a lot, but this time I really mean it. I like Anthony Brown. I like his sense of humor. He says, too bad you aren't drunker than Cooter Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I like to enjoy beer with my baits, but do not do this inebriated. I actually don't, don't, don't drink a six pack and then come out here and play with hot plastic. I actually scorched my foot not too long ago with uh, some plastic and. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest. Oh, hey guys. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. We can hear you on the TV. Oh. Oh, we woke, oh, we woke up. up. Oh, hey, don't show my nasty garage to everyone. Man. Well, you know what? Then they need to get in the frame. Buddy. Hi, Thelma. About him. Is Landon gonna inject? Nah, he's got a few years before he can come out here and help Daddy. So, but yeah, for all y'all asking about him, Landon is up way past his bedtime. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually surprised that he's out here. Hey, buddy, pay attention. Low budget Basson says, "Oh, hey, fam." Yeah. So, yeah, I actually do have a, a a wife and kid. They're not just rumors, you know. They're just not on the channel a whole lot. So. Yep, here you go, baby. Thelma, you want to come say hello to everybody? No, you can say it again. That's, my, nasty garage, that's my wife. Come on, jeez. Hello, everybody. She can get in front. She has more lands limit shirts than I do. Oh, live PD's out in the helicopter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's exactly Helicopter right, right over the house. The Speaking of live PD. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding, Ant. Oh, Pretty cool, sweet. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, yeah. We're about to get off of here. I've made all the Cooter Browns that I can make. That's what the, that's what the color is called. I didn't name it. Okay. Good. What's up? Are you doing that right now? We have them on the TV tonight. Yeah, all her and her comments. All right, everybody. Well, I I think we're gonna sign off for the night. So, but uh, yeah, you know, any peace out. Anytime, anytime you get a new mold here, bring, bring, <laughs> here, bring, bring, bring it on in, bring it on in. We gotta show everybody the uh, kicker worm. Yeah, the kicker worm. But yeah, any, anytime you get new molds uh, and and you got some friends coming over, it's a good night for a live stream. So. Yeah, we gotta do it more often. Yeah, those didn't eliminate worth the crap. Guys, I am off my game tonight. I apologize. But yeah, that's what it should look like. Cooter Brown. Sweet. Actually, I'm just gonna lay them out. And then we have a few more of the crawls. Hopefully those laminated a little better, so. Oh, come on. Yeah, those laminated real well. Uh, I spoke too soon. See, that's what happens when you get lazy, like I told you guys I was doing, and you don't measure your temps. <laughs> you get uneven laminates. So, anyway, that's what it should look like right there. So, yeah. But, you know, if you're just having fun, whatever, you can shoot them and still get good base. I'm sure he'll take them. Oh, they will, they will work just fine. But yeah, yeah, yeah everybody, here's, here's what we did. So, uh, yeah, we, we might do a giveaway on these. So... Oh, the XLT crawl mold? Yeah, yeah, awesome stuff. Yeah, what I want, I want to get Josh's Ecto crawl. I've, I've never had it. Back it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I want to get the Ecto crawl, but I've just never, never had it before, so. Uh, you know, just, the, you, you, you can't have them all, so. But uh, anyway, yeah, hope you guys found this uh, video uh, either, edu either educational or entertaining or, or none of the above. You can let me know if it's none of the above. But uh, yeah. Real, really cool color, real, real simple. This is one of Terry Scroggins' colors. Um, so I figured now that I had that mold that I would uh, sh show it off to you guys. So, but uh, anyway, yeah, I uh, appreciate you guys' support on the channel and uh, we're gonna sign off here. So uh, I'm gonna try to film some more content over the weekend. So be on the lookout for some uh, videos next week, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so anyway, we're out of here, and uh, thank you guys so much.